morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse, please, from Psalm 20. It's actually verse 2 and 3. It says this, Send help from the sanctuary, and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Selah. Psalm 20, verse 2 and 3. The heading I've given this morning is this, Our strength through his victories. Thank God that all that we are and all that we ever hope to be is through Christ and there is nothing that we can do without him. We closed our thought yesterday by saying that God comes to strengthen you when you're in your deepest stress, when you're in the worst situation, when you carry the heaviest burden, God comes to strengthen you. You mentioned Jesus in the garden as he fell upon his face three times as he sought his heavenly father to meet his need. And, uh, and God was all that he needed. His heavenly father was there. And when he was on the cross, how God gave him the strength that it was needed. We read here in the second verse today that it says, send the help, send the help from the sanctuary. And the divine son of God had experienced this help many, many times. Time after time, at a time of when he knew hunger, when he experienced temptation, when he experienced human weakness in the wilderness. We read in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 11, it says, And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. In the garden, in the wilderness, on the cross, God our Heavenly Father ministered to his divine Son, Jesus. And in our times of complete weakness, and helplessness, he will minister to you, and he will minister to me. There is no help like that which comes from God. There is no deliverance like that which comes from the sanctuary. And our sanctuary is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And in your greatest hour of need, run to the Christ of the cross. Run to the Christ of Calvary. In Jesus is our strength to be found. And when there is no help to be found on earth, then we must look to heaven from whence cometh our help. It is a certain help. It is a speedy help. It is an eternal help. Psalm 121 and verse 2 says, My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He is the one that holds every planet in space, who spake the world and the galaxies were formed. And he holds you and me in the very palm of his hand. What a mighty God we serve. What a safe place to be in the very hand of God. Verse 3 goes on to say, Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Selah. Before wars, kings would very often offer sacrifices. And on the acceptance of these sacrifices, they depended for their, their success. And in all the battles of life, friends, we must remember that the greatest sacrifice of all sacrifices was made upon our behalf when the King of all kings, the King of all glory, came and sacrificed himself upon the altar of the cross and guaranteed his children the victory through every battle of life. And the psalmist says, Selah, which means pause, consider, it will do us good, friends, to pause and to consider the cross. And then to go into battle with the confidence that we cannot fail. But our confidence is in Christ, not in man. And our strength is through his victories. God richly bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.